Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Sully Pones and welcome back to my classic run mode on Super Smash Bros for the Nintendo 3DS. Before we get started, do me a favor and leave a like on this video. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, I'm not really sure if you guys could tell, but I am sick. It's kind of all over my voice right now. Uh, I haven't been feeling well for the past week or so, which is why I wasn't able to record any videos, like new videos, unfortunately. Uh, and that explains why the uploads have been like inconsistent for the past week it's because i've been sick and i've been posting on twitter about my health and updating you guys uh and how i've been feeling every single day so if you don't have a twitter and you'd like to be kept up to date then uh be sure to make the twitter account and follow me the link to that is in the description i always link it in the description of every one of my videos uh if ever there's a time or period where i haven't uh where i go like a few days without uploading then there's always something major like me being sick and not being able to record but you know today I, I did feel I woke up feeling much better than I did yesterday or any other day for that matter Which is why I decided just to attempt to record a couple of videos for you guys because honestly I miss doing it And it's been a while since I've played smash like while I was sick. Wow I killed myself to kill Yoshi I saw him spawn that thing and there was no way I was gonna let it kill me so took my took my own life just to kill Yoshi to secure a kill which is sometimes all right but uh, for the past week, while I've been sick, uh, I've actually had a few friends of mine over uh, from different states, from the Expansion Pack, which is a group channel that we have. It's like kind of a website that uh, I'm, a, I'm a part of, I'm a member of, and it's just a bunch of Let's Players collaborating together. We've been recording something very, very special for you guys, and uh, whenever that project is out and about, I'll actually make a video on my channel addressing it. So um, I'm actually really excited about this project, and I cannot wait for you guys to watch it because I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. But besides that, I haven't been doing much, you know, uh, I haven't even been playing Smash all that much I've honestly been like lying down on my couch just playing like any Wii U game I started picking up Wind Waker. I've never ever beaten Wind Waker So I started playing that game a lot more and you know, it's a really fun game hands down One of my favorite Toon Link Zelda games of all time out there and there we go both Kirby and Meta Knight died Zero Suit Samus is a freaking amazing character. I personally love Sam Zero Suit Samus more than I love Samus I'm not honestly a fan of Samus to begin with, but Zero Suit Samus is really good. She's actually more of a fighter as opposed to a shooter, um, and, and that's what I like about her because she she's just super fast. She kind of reminds me of Sheik in a sense, where uh, like her Sheik and Greninja, I guess. Her attacks are sort of like hers, or their attacks, but overall she's a really good character. I haven't played her besides... Uh, testing her out a couple of times and uh, honestly I've been considering maining her because she is just that good but then again this is on 6.0 so I can't really show off like super amazing combos or skills on these kind of computers because you know computers won't let me they'll just be like okay here you go attack me I'm a level 6 computer you can tell and there goes Diddy Kong wow that, that current man it's like as soon as it sucks you in it's impossible to get back out of there so it's it's a pretty dangerous thing to be anywhere near that water because once you get in you can never get back out I wonder where they head to they're like oh can I can I if I could get a bomb oh man I thought I could get a bomb kill with that but the bomb exploded too quickly all right game and watch Nick knock him off nope if he had like hundred percent damage that thing would have actually stayed uh, on him for like a clean three seconds or something like that which would have been more than enough time to knock him off and make him fall in the water and then he would have died uh, but right now it's just me Game & Watch and Donkey Kong with pretty much even uh, percent which is alright I'm gonna actually try to kill Donkey Kong first because he's more of a threat to me than Game & Watch is so if I could get Donkey Kong out of the picture then I can easily take out Game & Watch and there goes Donkey Kong with that amazing blue shell not bad at all I haven't actually played it as uh, Zero Suit Sam as much, so I'm not going to do well, obviously, with her because she's a new character to me. That's pretty much how it is whenever I play any new character. It's just like, if I'm not, if I haven't played with them before, then there's no way I'm going to be able to pick them up right off the bat and play amazing with them because it just doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that at all. But we killed Game & Watch, and uh, we secured our victory there, which is awesome. So now we can proceed on to the next match. And it looks like, uh, you know, I'm going to take this Wii Fit Trainer route because YOLO. Why the heck not? <coughs> ah, <clears throat> I hate being sick. That is like the worst thing ever. Uh, I, I took a trip to Chicago to visit my parents actually like uh, a week and a half ago. And I was there for two days. And I made sure while I was there to not touch anything. Oh, look at that. Oh man, look at that. I wanted to see if I could see myself in the cage, but what I was thinking, I made, I made sure not to touch anything. Um, I made sure not to shake any people's hands, and uh, 
uh, I made sure not to breathe directly into people's faces just because I didn't want to get sick and then what ended up happening was I got sick, which is so it's kind of it was kind of inevitable for me to get to not get sick, which kind of sucks. I really, really hate being sick. That is like the worst thing ever. Oh, now I can see what that says. Zero Suit Samus got a downgrade. Speed weakened. Every single time I played this level, I never understood what it meant. I, like there was always that ribbon, that that yellow caution sign, and I never really understood what it was saying. I always thought it meant something dangerous, but. I couldn't never read it because I, I don't read Japanese. Uh, and then sometimes it'll do it again. Like, it usually does it multiple times. And I'm assuming, uh, yeah, I'm assuming Wii Fit Trainer gets an, uh, an upgrade. Yep. Defense improved. Meaning she's going to be harder to kill. And she's just standing there trying to heal herself. Are you kidding me? And there I go. Almost dead right there. Almost died. Almost died. Not bad. Okay. I didn't die just yet, but I almost died. She is metal Wii Fit Trainer, so she's obviously going to be much harder to take out. And not only that, but like like you guys just witnessed, she has a defense upgrade, meaning that my attacks really won't do much damage on her. Ooh, it's the Smash Ball. Let me actually get it. You know, one thing that I absolutely hate is like when you're sitting there trying to break a Smash Ball and you almost break it, and then somebody just comes in and just hits it once and take the kill. For like that! Oh my god! I was literally talking about that, and she just did it. She just took my Smash Ball. I sat there breaking it, and then she just comes in one hit, and bam, steals it from me. And that's the part where I usually knock it right out of her, but she did her Smash Attack before I was able to do anything, which is unfortunate for me. But you know what? That's okay, because we just defeated Wii Fit Trainer. The smelly old trainer. The Wii Fit of all fitness. Not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> ah, man. It would really suck if I just actually lose my voice. Then then I wouldn't be able to record regardless if I wanted to. But now it's like I, I can do it without coughing. Because like a few days ago, I'd talk. I'd speak like a few sentences and then I'd start coughing really badly. Like you just feel a really bad tickle in your throat and then you just start aggressively coughing. Uh, but to kill these guys, it's actually pretty easy. Um... If you just run, and then A attack them, instantly kill them. I don't know why that attack does so much damage when it attacks these guys, but it's honestly the best thing. Watch. Woo! Dang. Look at that. Two and one. Pretty awesome. Uh, when I was actually playing this on my Japanese 3DS, I, uh, I instead of taking the Fighting Me Team Rue, I took uh, Team Charizard. And those guys obliterated me, because imagine having all those Charizards doing Flitter Blitz on you. It's just like, regardless, who is that? That's Yoshida Mario, okay. Here we bear. Dang, Zero Suit Samus is a bay, man. She's honestly a bay. Look at that. She is a bay in this game. I'm, I wonder how she'll look in the Wii game. I think she'll look amazing. And the cool thing is... Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was actually confirmed to be released on the same, or uh, I should say, uh, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U was actually confirmed to be released on the same day that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are being released on. So it's going to be a very exciting day, November 21st. Make sure you mark that day on your calendars for the best day of our lives. Literally, the best day of this entire year will be November 21st, where we get the two newest Pokemon games for the 3DS, the best generation remake, the third generation remake for the 3DS being released, as well as Super Smash Bros. on a console for the Wii U. It's going to be amazing. Like, could you imagine how it will look like on the Wii U? We've seen trailers, we've seen screenshots, we've seen pretty much everything there is to know about these games, and, uh, and it looks amazing for the Wii U. Um... Alright, can I just attack? I'm not really doing so too much damage with my up A attack, so... Her down spike honestly does so much damage. Let me see if I can get that. No! What did I just do? Are you kidding me? I killed myself? Dude, are you serious? I'm not gonna make it. Are you kidding me right now? <coughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to make it. I have a one stock, and we all know during that sword phase, I'm like, terrible. So... <laughs> Gosh, this sucks. So if I end up dying, what I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to reset because I'm not going to go down below 6.0 on this. That's kind of pathetic. So if I end up dying, I'm going to reset it and then I'm going to make it all the way back here again and then and then we'll take on Master Core again. It's kind of a tedious process if I had to do if I have to do that, but I'm really hoping that I'm not. I'm going to actually try to clutch this. It's not really working out if this guy's continuously attacking me. There we go. Phase number 1's over of Master Core. 
Now, this is the main phase that I need to actually focus down without dying or actually getting too much damage dealt on me. You know, even if I, I did get damage dealt on me, like, I hardly ever get attacked by the... by my, uh, clone or my shadow, uh, character that I'm battling. So, in this case, it'll be, like, Shadow Zero Suit Samus or Master Core Sa Samus. So, I, I don't think it'll really be much of an issue besides this. As long as I can just dodge these attacks. <clears throat> And guarantee that he's not gonna hit me. Oh, come on, man. Come on, buddy. There we go. 110% damage. I'm very, very vulnerable at this very moment. But I feel like we can clutch it and we can make it all the way through. I just gotta be very careful right now. Oh, she hit me. Don't you dare. Oh, man. I'm actually really nervous right now. Holy crap. Oh, man. I've n I haven't been this nervous while playing this game in a long, long time. Okay, come on. I just gotta do this. I gotta do this. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, there we go. She's getting really small, so we almost have this. We totally have this. Uh oh, she's dodging. She's dodging my attacks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Oh, God, no! No! Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. No! Alright, we are back! And I made it all the way through. Now I have one stock 0%, which is not that bad. Uh, so I can easily take her out now. Um, I ended up restarting this entire thing because, like I said, there was no way I was going to continue it on 5.0 or 5.5. You can't even battle against Master Core on 5.5. That's just how it is in this game. So I was just like, I'm going to skip all over this and I'm going to attempt to do this on this right here. Come on, girlfriend. Come on, girlfriend. She's actually putting in some work right now. 0 to 45. On a level 6.0 computer, that's kind of too much. And she's dead. There's no way she can recover from that. I told you guys. There was no way, no way she would have recovered. Oh, fun fact. Off screen, I actually did this. I had two stocks with Sheik. I did it on 8.0. And um, I don't know why I wasn't recording. Actually, there was no reason for me to record it. But I was playing it on 8.0 with Sheik. And I beat Master Core. And I ended up with two stocks still. And I let the court itself explode. And what ended up happening was it exploded and I ended up winning. Like, because once it exploded, it technically dies, but it takes you with you. So if you have an extra stock, you'll be golden. And the thing is, after it explodes, it stays there for like five seconds. So when you're on the, uh, on your little pad that revives you, I guess, uh, or responds you, it's not going to, uh, uh, act like, you're not going to be attacked or hurt by it because, obviously, you have invincibility frames on you, so... You'll be golden, pretty much. But we did it! We got the Samus Trophy, the Zero Suit Samus Trophy, I should say. So far, we have three. We have two Link, Samus, and then Zero Suit Samus. We still have a long ways to go in order to catch up or make our way back to what we had in, uh, in our other file or game, I should say. Uh, but... For now, we're just going to continue Classic Run, and then by the end, hopefully, of Classic Run, we'll have every single one of the trophies unlocked. I just need to find the time to do that, and then we'll be golden. But, remember, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, and uh, if you are watching this video and you aren't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It would mean a lot to me, and um, make sure you follow me on Twitter, as I post a lot on Twitter, and it's kind of like... It's kind of like the hub, the central of every Let's Player. I don't know, it's like if you ever want anything, if you ever want any questions answered, if you ever want to talk to me or just message me about anything or, or just tell me something, Twitter is the way to go because Twitter is with a website that I literally cannot miss a tweet. I read every single one of the tweets tweeted at me and I never, like even if I don't respond to your tweet, I 100% saw it and read it. Like, I always do. I just don't respond to all of them because sometimes, like, there's really no point in responding to them. But I'm going to make a, ha a habit of responding to them and, and reading all of them like I'm already doing. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. The link to that will be in the description of this video. It's just twitter.com forward slash sullypones. And that's pretty much it. But I died. That's okay. Now we just got to complete this puzzle piece poster thing. A majig, a uh, bobber. Popper. What? Where is she at? It kind of looks like Prism Tower, but yeah, it also looks like Battlefield. I can't really tell. Yeah, it's totally Prism Tower, isn't it? It totally is. Yeah, it's definitely Prism Tower. I I just looked at the background and I saw, and I'm like, 
that is totally Prism Tower. It wasn't even the tower that gave it away, but that's besides the point. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next episode of our classic run. Goodbye.